Good morning from the farm. This is Justin. Uh, today we're going to be putting together our muddy blind. Uh, we ended up with a, we got a muddy penthouse uh, from the uh, non-typical food plots guys over in Perm, Minnesota. And uh, we're down here on November 14th here today and we're going to uh, work on putting it up and uh, stand her up for next season. So bear with us and we'll try to uh, let you join along the way. So with so with this blind, we ended up with a 10-foot platform stand we got as well. So this is the stand uh, that comes with it. It's default five feet, and then that over there is the extension to get it to 10. So Garth and I will work on putting this baby together for the next couple hours. And uh, I'm going to GoPro it in slow motion, so hopefully you can see it be assembled. Stay tuned. I've been told I need to focus on my life. Work a little harder, do my part, start living right Ain't got the answers, but I think I've seen a lie Cause since I met you, all I won't do Is waste some time, waste some time, waste some time Waste some time, waste some time, waste some time Waste some time, waste some time So as you can see, we got our muddy stand erected. What they told me is to build it upside down, put all these bolts and everything together, put everything together before we tighten it up. The only, the only ones we tightened up were the ones down here. Um, one thing that we didn't read in the directions is these legs actually have an angle on one side and they're straight on the other. Put the angle side towards the bottom and then when you add the kit to add 10 feet, you'll end up with another angle. And then that's how the feet go on up top. So, uh, something that we didn't read in the directions, but all set, all worked out. Um, and then the last thing is when you're building it upside down and you put the uh, bottom braces around the top, don't put them on until you're ready to put the cross braces on because we put it on and then we had to pull them off to put the cross braces on because they go in the same holes. So, just a couple caveats and uh, we'll keep going. All right, here we are. We have a muddy stand erected. Gar's finishing the ladder. And then we're going out the door and onto some kind of trailer to take it to the field. So stay tuned. Now I'm a 300 pound redneck rebel. I'm a God fearing man that's had to dance with the devil. The Lord, I pray my soul to take if I should ever die before I wait. But see, right now, I just want to. The stand proved to not be super heavy, but more awkward. It wasn't the lightest thing, but with the help of my father in law and my cousin in law and two helpful kids, we were able to put it right onto an aluminum trailer and drive it right out into the field. Each of us jumped into a vehicle. One of us pulling the blind, one pulling the trailer, and a bobcat to help us get it in the air. We positioned the pickup in the trailer where we can lift the stand directly off and stand it up right in position. Now down to three, we were able to lift off the stand, tip it upright, directly in the position of where its new home was going to be. At 
Attaching the ladder is easy and it's very stable and sturdy. With two pins, it's in place and ready for use. Using the provided stakes, we were able to pound down all four corners, making sure that the stand wouldn't tip over in these North Dakota winds. The stand also provides a twisted stake where there's a cable you attach to the bottom of the sand so as it settles you can continue to fasten it to the ground making sure it doesn't go anywhere. Next we got the blind off the trailer and moved into position to lift up in the air. I'm very thankful my cousin-in-law was there to lift that blind in the air. One wouldn't think 10 feet is that high, but it sure is when you got a 6x7 blind on the end of a bobcat. Once we got the blind sitting on the stand, it was fairly easy to put into position. Some carriage bolts, nuts and washers that were provided with the kit finalized our assembly of our new muddy blind. Alright everybody, here's the uh, final product. We have our muddy penthouse blind up. I'm actually filming from within my ranger right now because the wind's blowing 20, 25 miles an hour, so that's pretty hard to do it outside. But as you can see, we got it all up. We got the uh, four corners uh, pounded in the ground with the stakes they provided. There's a uh, wire harness that they give you to put down the middle um, to attach to the ground with a screw in. Um, got that up. I actually came out here this morning and made sure it was still standing with how hard the wind was blowing last night because it's a big box on a stand. So uh, make sure you do fasten these things down. Uh, we got ours up there. It uh, wasn't too difficult with Bobcat. Uh, got the holes lined up, everything lined up perfectly and uh, put it together and, and it looks good. So uh, hopefully the wind uh, will not take a toll on it and she'll stay standing, but I'll take you inside and give you the pros and cons as I see it so far. So here we are at the front of the blind. I apologize about the wind, but as you can see, we have a 10 foot ladder stand. Uh, it's a long ways up there. I didn't realize that there was a big difference between three feet off the ground and 10 feet off the ground at your feet, but uh, the ladder seems to be great quality. Uh, it's sturdy. Uh, we got it strapped in here really good, attached to the ground. Uh, with the wind blowing, you gotta be careful of that door when, uh, when you get in and out of it. Here's the attachments to get into the ground. Uh, we had to level it a little bit, dig a little bit of a hole. Uh, you can see our, our wire harness or cable tie here that goes in the bottom of the stand. Uh, there you can see the drop through carriage bolts that came with it. Uh, went in really simple, all lined up great. So we'll uh, take you inside, show you what the inside looks like. All right, here we are inside our muddy blind. Uh, as you can see, I can stand up in here. I'm five foot 11 and I've got another foot and a half in here. Uh, the windows are full glass. Uh, they seem to be really great. Um, I did buy the window kits that go on. Uh, there's, a, there's a mesh screen that's on the inside and a dark screen that goes over it. Um, there are some notches to put in it. Um, what I noticed is a couple of them um, actually came. There's these little windows and there's some Velcro that you can stick on it to open it and look through it. Um, but if you notice a couple over here, um, I put this one upside down because there's no piece on the top side. So either I'm missing something or they forgot a piece of Velcro. Um, I'm not a huge fan of these window coverings because um, they're also, if you notice over here, on this one, the Velcro that you have to put on the glass goes right over where the uh, where the lock for the window goes. So when you put it up, it's kind of awkward to get on there. You got to kind of to get on there. So the window coverings, I think, could be a little bit better. I've got some Shadow Hunter blinds too, and I really like those windows the way the dark ones go up and down. But they aren't glass; they're plexi, so they've gotten a little uh, faded over the years too. But um, as many of you guys know, the way the windows work in here, uh, you open these things up. Slide them open here. You've got to kind of grab a hold of it. There is a notch up here to put into it. You can bend that down if you need a little bit more uh, hold. Uh, they seem to hold really well. Uh, you seem to be able to see out of it really well. Our, our pile is about 15 yards away 
and I'm pretty sure I wouldn't be able to shoot out of this blind standing up at the pile. So if you look right here, uh, you can't see the pile. You have to get down, which means I'd have to sit, uh, which I don't have a problem with. We've uh, pretty much sat uh, our entire career shooting, shooting deer. I've never been able to stand up. However, this long window over here, uh, if you had a deer out this window, you could definitely stand up and look. So I guess that's probably a decision you need to make before you put up the blind. If you want to stand, you're going to have to position these side windows uh, more in the direction you're going to shoot rather than out the front window either or. So uh, other thing, I didn't get a bow holder when I bought this blind. So uh, that's something I'm going to have to put in here, I know. Uh, I thought maybe I could break something up in here. I think the muddy ones probably be a little bit easier. They probably come the right way. Uh, the only other thing I noticed in this blind is, as I said earlier, the wind's blowing 25 miles an hour today. Um, I don't like the fact I can see through the cracks in these doors. So there's a lot of wind coming through here right now. Uh, we're in North Dakota, so when we hunt in December and January, the wind blows out of the north at 20 miles an hour, and it's going to be hard to compete with the amount of cold water or cold air coming through here uh, with that little buddy heater down here. Uh, to keep it warm in here. So I'm a little concerned with some of the cracks I see. Um, I don't love the window coverings, which actually leaves uh, some more light uh, in here. Um, overall, it seems like a stable blind. Seems like it's well built. Uh, between the windows and some of the, the cracks in the seals, I guess we'll see long-term how this thing holds up. Uh, there is a lot of room. Uh, you could fit three full-size guys in here, a camera crew. Um, the one thing I do like about this front window is you would actually be able to shoot out of it. In some of our other blinds, that's a little bit of a challenge to hunt out that front window and be able to shoot and film because the windows are so narrow. Uh, these are really big windows, so I think we'll be able to get some good footage uh, as well as be able to shoot out this front window like we have in the past. Um, there is some, some nice uh, holders in here um, for you know a, a drink holder, a shelf to put some stuff on. Uh, that's really nice. Uh, there isn't a lot of other storage other than that, so a person might have to figure out a way to put something up in the ceiling up above here uh, if you're going to store stuff in here. But overall, so far, pretty happy with what we got. Uh, fortunately, we're almost done hunting this year. We've got one tag left. My son has a tag left filled, so hopefully we'll get in here and give it another shot. But I hope you enjoyed our uh, coverage of building a muddy blind, and I hope this video helps you sometime in the future.